All right then, gang, so now we're at the point where I want to start building the build program that we saw at the start of the series. Now, the first thing I want to do is make a custom data type for our bills, and a bill might include several different properties. For example, a name, which could be a string, the items of food ordered and their prices, which could be a map, and maybe a tip as well, which could be a float 64. So this would kind of be like a custom object structure with these three properties, right? In other object-oriented languages, we might use a class to blueprint a bill object like this, but in Go, we don't use classes. Instead, we can create custom types using a struct, which is another type in Go. Now, a struct basically is a blueprint which describes a type of data. In our case, it will be a blueprint for a bill object. So let's create our own custom bill type, which is a struct. So then the first thing I'm going to do is create a new file where we're going to define this custom type. So I'm going to call this bill.go. And then to create this type, actually, first of all, we need package main to make sure that it's in the same package as this file, right? Now, to make this custom struct type, first of all, we're going to say type. That's what we do when we make a new type. We give this a name. I'm going to call it bill. And then we say struct to say it's a structure and we use curly braces, and inside here we define the different properties of this structure. So ours is gonna have a name, and then we type it, it's gonna be a string. And then we go to the next line, we don't need a comma, and then the next property is gonna be items, which is all of the food items on the bill that this person might have ordered, and that is gonna be a map type. The keys are gonna be strings, and we need to spell that correctly, string, and the values are going to be float 64 and finally we're going to do a tip property and that is going to be a float 64 and that there my friends is our structure our custom type and this is kind of like a blueprint now for any bill object right now what i'm going to do is also create a function in this file to make new bills so if i want a new bill object i will run this function to generate that bill object for me. Now you don't have to do it this way, but this is just something I'm doing for this program. So I'm gonna say func and call it new bill. And then inside here, I'm gonna take in a name argument, which will be a string. So when we call this function, we're gonna take in the name and we'll assign this value to the name property of the bill inside this function. Now at the end of this function, we're gonna return a bill object, a bill type. So we'll specify that bill type right here. Okay, so I'm gonna make a local variable just called bill, and we're gonna set it equal to a bill type like so. So that's what we do. We create our type, our structure, and when we want to create a new one, we set it equal to that type right here, and then curly braces, all right? And inside here, we can define our initial values for these properties right here. So what I need is, first of all, a name property, and that's going to be the name that we take in right here. So name is name, and then a comma. The next property is the items, and that's a map. And to begin with, I'm going to create an empty map. So I'll say map string, and then it was float64, like so, and then open and close your curly braces just to make this empty map. All right, so next up, we'll set the tip to start at zero, and then a comma. So this is our initial bill object with its initial values. Now, all we need to do is return that bill object now. So let's say return bill at the end. In fact, it shouldn't be bill, it should be B, because that's what we call the variable right here. All right then, so let's save that. And now let's use this function from our main.go file. So I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call this my bill, but you can call it what you want. Set it equal to new bill, which is a function. And remember that returns the bill object at the end, new bill object. We pass in that name. So I'm just going to call this Mario's bill like so. And then what I'm going to do is after that, print out the bill. So FMT dot print line and my bill all right so let me save this open up the console and run the files remember we have to run both of them so go run main.go 
and also bill.go. Press enter, it's gonna run those files for us and hopefully we don't get any errors. And we can see here is the new bill we created. So that's the name, this is the empty map, and that's the initial tip. So it's as simple as that, my friends. This is how we create our own custom types, our own object types, if you like, using the type keyword right here, and also a struct. Now, we can also add functions or methods to our custom types using what's known as receiver functions, and we're gonna cover that next.